So number five, folks, not only does he need to be praised, here's the number five, the fifth thing that a man needs is this, is also communication. When we got married, my wife and I, I thought, you know, I know women says we don't communicate, but I discovered and I told her she also needs to communicate. She says to me, let's go to the mall. Being a good husband, I'm there. My mistake, I forgot to ask her, which mall and how long are we going to be in the mall? <laughs> Big mistake. So here I am, four hours, we are still in the mall. Have you seen some guys in the mall? A lady will shop, you see some guys, and I never see guys like this, always they are here, like, hey, my brows in a shop. You know, <laughs> have you not seen guys kind of like, join the club, bro, hey, we are stuck here, my brow, you know. <laughs> and you see them going like, hey, guys. <laughs> but we need to choose which I did. Because I came to a point where I thought, man, after four and a half hours, and she still has not bought anything. So I went to her like a good husband. I said, love, uh, are we about to finish? You know, in a nice smile. She says, yes, sweetheart, we just have one more store to go to. I said, which one? Big mistake. I should not have asked, asked that question. She said, the very same one where we started. I'm thinking, we have to walk all the way down. Why did we buy the stuff down? Ladies, a man is communication. So now when Mamiki communicates with me, she has an agenda. And I don't want more than five items in my agenda. One, two, three, four. Because a man's mind, you know, we, we folks, we, we lose interest quickly. So I need one, two, three, four, five, so that I say, okay, sweetheart, this looks like it needs two hours or 30 minutes or just five minutes. Then I give you my undivided attention. A man is for you, woman, to communicate. Number six, here it is. Let me go back up here. The sixth thing that uh, 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 a man needs, there it is there, 130, page 130. There you go. A beautiful wife is the sixth thing that a man needs. A beautiful wife, not a beautiful knife. Because sometimes women can be like, oh, God, please, you know, they know how to steer you. A woman can use a word. I learn to him be out funny in the out here, You don't look like my ex. It's a knife. It's got like ish. That's a knife. That's under the belt. A beautiful look. Ma'am, it's good that you can wear all the towel and the calamine lotion, but it's nice when he comes in. Just be beautiful for him. Maybe, I'm not saying it's the truth. Maybe she's princess. That is why these guys enjoy working over time. Because of what is not happening at home. <laughs> Because if we're efficient and effective, we don't need overtime. I know there's demand for manganese and all, but maybe there's an underlying reason. It has nothing to do with Zach. It has to do with what is not happening at home. So, ma'am, the sixth need of a man is this. He wants a beautiful wife and not a beautiful knife. If you have to steer him, don't, be, don't use a butcher knife. Use a butter knife. You know, butter him up. It will help you. Number seven. A man needs this, a recreational playmate. A recreational playmate. What do you mean? It's amazing that when we get married, your husband will like to, like, I tip you a little bit, you know, like this. I mean, he wants to play with you. You used to go to the rugby games. You used to go to the soccer games. It was no big deal when you were dating. Now you are married, I go. That's where some of us get into temptation. Your husband needs to play with you. He needs a recreational playmate. You're not only a wife, no. You are his playmate. He needs to play with his woman. Number eight, guys, am I doing well? I'm trying, man. Okay. Number eight, a man needs this, a husband needs this, a committed homemaker. Remember, you choose to change your attitude. I know today that women now want upward mobility opportunities, no problem. But at the end of the day, a husband needs a committed homemaker. Because when all is said and done, it's all about the home. Isn't it amazing? God created a family before he created an asthma, before he created a company, before he created a mosque, a church, a Hindu temple or whatever. God created a family. Family is important to God. So a man needs a committed homemaker. Number nine, a man needs someone who is intelligent. Intelligent, not educated. We're not talking about just the degrees, whatever. But an intelligent woman. Ma'am, here's a secret. Ask him, how was the day today? How is the share price of asthma or whatever? The guy will begin to communicate. Then as he's blabby blabbing, you then squeeze in your items in there. You see, that's intelligence. But 
if he comes in, you already have a 16 things, you know, this and this and this and this. No wonder some guys look at their marriages and say, yo, I thought marriage was an ideal. Hey, it is an ordeal. Maybe I must pray for a new deal. <laughs> and some of you, maybe in boyfriend and girlfriend, you say, oh, it started from last. This thing is rust. But if I'm honest, this thing is dust, you know. Last, rust, dust. This thing is finished. Intelligent. A man needs to be challenged. Be an intelligent woman. And finally, here's the last one, the 10th thing. If you're choosing to change as a wife, then I'm going to turn around and give these guys a wonderful panel beating. Ladies, hang in there. Number 10, here it is, guys. Uh, ladies, a man needs a wife who is honest. Absolutely honest. A woman who's honest, a woman is open, a woman who is transparent. Isn't that the same qualities we need in the workplace? Because how can we work together and grow together if we are not honest? I get discouraged sometimes about leaders. They tell you something and they do something. You see, true riches is what you have, but true wealth is who you are. If you want to be a wealthy person, it's really who you are. Riches, cars and stuff is what you have. But a wealthy person is a person who understands who or he, she is, is who you are.